Welcome back. It is the middle of summer, so we are sticking with the plant-based theme right here, folks. That's right. That's right. This one is super easy. As always, I try to make them easy for you, but if you're heading to a cookout, you need something to bring if you're a plant-based eater. This is also a great item for meal prep. It's called Red Bean Oats and Walnut Burgers. And as you can see, what I'm holding here, this it looks, like, looks like a burger, right? It looks like a burger. Yeah. What are you putting so, on it? Well, uh, this is coconut oil. We'll get to that in a sec. But this one's super easy, as always. So here's what, here's what you need for the ingredients. Pull it up there. Basically, red kidney beans. That's an easy one can of red kidney beans. Half a cup of walnuts, pulsed, which means put them in a food processor or your Nutribullet. Pulse them. You don't want to just make them into powder. Uh, half a cup of oats. Same thing. You want to pulse those as well. Quarter teaspoon of cumin. Quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon of Italian seasoning blend, uh, which basically that's... Any, any Italian seasoning blend, uh, thyme, rosemary, sage, oregano, basil. I just use a, a standard one there. Okay. Mix all that together, salt and pepper to taste. Got it. And then, so all that's in a bowl, and you basically just mix that all together with your hands. Okay. And then make it into four patties. As you see here, I have two patties because the other two got eaten by my wife and I last night. <laughs> right. Um, but the reason you pulse the oats and the walnuts uh, is because you want everything to stick together. And if you have too big, just like kind of flat oats, sometimes it, it won't allow it, it'll fall apart. Have you ever had a veggie burger that you're like, man, this doesn't stay together like a regular burger? Right. So do that, pulse it a little bit, and it'll work. Now, the other trick, I already have this uh, one side down, coconut oil, kind of uh, unrefined virgin coconut oil. All right. You put this on top, and this basically acts as kind of like a, a little bit of fat um, on top of it, because obviously the, the beans and everything else doesn't have the regular so fat that's where that a burger. It's getting its ju juiciness. Yeah, well, it, juiciness, but also it'll give it it'll give it that um, kind of crisp, uh, crisp edge. Oh, okay. Um, the the bite through texture that you're always looking for right. in a burger. And the best thing about this, like a lot of plant based things, meal prep wise, you can make these at the beginning of the week, make a whole bunch of them, stack them in the fridge. You don't have to freeze them or anything. Yeah. And you can eat them actually. Uh, raw because there's no there's no meat or anything in it um, and then what you're doing over here is preparing any of the accoutrement uh, that you want <laughs> there that again? accoutrement okay. um, also something else all you avocado fans out there yeah this Hattie was learned Hattie learned a new trick today I sure did this was great take a look at this avocado real quick get a little shot there you see there you how go. nice that is that was cut yesterday last night when Jazz and I were eating dinner we ate the other half with our burgers last night. Look at that. Yeah. You might be wondering, why is it not brown? Why, Curtis? Why is why is the avocado not brown? I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> That's a great question. Lemon juice. A lot of you probably already know, know that trick. But with the avocado, if you're only going to eat half of it, coat it, squirt lemon juice all over it. Yeah. And it won't. I it did won't not turn know brown. that. I, I'm I'm looking forward to trying that. I've I've lost so many good avocados that way. I had no idea. I know. That's the thing. Because then you got to scrape the top off. Um, I don't know if this is ready yet because I forgot to turn the, the heat up as high as I wanted to. But you want to get kind of your griddle really hot so that it's kind of sizzling. Yeah. Um, this one isn't, isn't sizzling, but you can see the top there. Got a nice little burn, uh, burn to it, but it'll actually crisp up um, once this heats up a little bit. We'll show you that. Well, the nice thing is when we put this thing together after the commercial. The nice thing is, is that, you, like you said, you can eat that raw, right? You can just yeah. eat it as it is. But we're going to give it a little texture because that, that one's mine, so it needs to have. Yeah, a your bit lunch of... is almost ready. <laughs> um, and then slice up the avocados, onions, <laughs> Yo, tomatoes. This is not going. Okay. And you there you it. go. There you, you got go. the oats and the walnuts here. But again, this is a super simple one. You can meal prep and make a ton of them, and just put this parchment paper over, stick it in the fridge. More All good right. stuff coming your way, folks. We'll, of course, put this on the website, firstcoastliving.net, so you can check this recipe out. This is an easy one. You can probably remember it right now. That's right.